What happens when the world's two largest economies get together in a single free trade and investment region? This is what the EU and the US are doing, and they call it the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, or TTIP. Together, they represent over 50% of the global GDP and over 600 million of the richest consumers. The positive implications for the two economies are huge. And guess what? Preparations are well underway. Currently, there are many so-called regulatory issues as well as the tariffs that act as barriers and set the EU and US quite apart, making transatlantic trade and investment much harder in each other's regions. But what are these regulatory barriers? For example, if an automobile manufacturer makes a new model in the US, it needs to make sure it meets European standards when exporting to the EU. Or think of an X-ray machine. The European company fabricating it may need to spend tens of thousands of dollars in compliance costs to meet US requirements when selling its healthcare products in the US. That's why TTIP has been launched. Its aim is to secure a groundbreaking free trade and investment agreement between the US and the EU, both of which produced $16 trillion worth of goods and services in 2012. So what are these talks about? Briefly, about two things, regulations and tariffs, which will then drive market access. First, about regulations. Regulations are laws that protect people from risks to their health, safety, environment, and financial security. The EU and the US will try to make their regulations more compatible while keeping people protected. For existing regulations, this can mean that when US regulations and EU regulations have the same effect, like prescribing the safe level of food additives or approving medicines, they can be recognized even if their content or the authorization process is different. The regulations can also be brought closer to each other by changing or updating them. Or think of car safety guidelines. For example, the EU and US have different but similar safety requirements in relation to car lights, door locks, seat belts, and electric windows. Many of these could be formally recognized as providing the same level of safety across the board, even if the way the safety rules and checks are in place is quite different on the two sides of the Atlantic. Second, the tariffs. Both the US and the EU protect their economies from importers in many fields through trade tariffs. Many of these are no longer needed and actually hurt the economy. 80% of the total potential gains will come from cutting costs imposed by bureaucracy and regulations. If the new agreement eliminates all tariffs and so-called trade barriers, it could boost U.S. economic output by 0.4% and EU economic output by 0.5%. This translates, on the average, to an extra 545 euros in disposable income each year for a family of four in the EU and $900 per family in the US. In terms of employment, TTIP will create 750,000 jobs in the US and 400,000 jobs in the EU. So how would all of this happen? There are essentially two ways this is being done, by working on what is already in place and by coordinating better when we make laws in the future. Will this lead to the removal of important regulations? Absolutely not. Consumer protection is at the forefront of the TTIP mandate to protect the environment and to make sure that foods and medicines are safe. Smarter cooperation will make regulation more effective. Regulators can learn from each other. The talks will also deal with licensing and qualification requirements, liberalizing investment procedures in both the EU and the US and improving access to government procurement opportunities so private firms can bid for public tenders in both markets. Government protection of certain industries, like in the case of Airbus and Boeing, may therefore become an important issue in the talks. The benefits for the EU and the US would not be at the expense of the rest of the world. Global income would increase by $140 billion. 
you should be increasingly engaged in assessing, questioning, and identifying the tangible and attainable benefits as well as the risks of TTIP. Ignore it at your own peril. Make sure that your company is ready to leverage TTIP opportunities and stay one step ahead of your competition. Download your IBT Partners TTIP white paper right now.